we have here the USB connector. Okay, pin number one is connected to the chemical capacitor and to ceramic capacitor. And here, of course, the chemical capacitor is connected to the V out of the IC that is responsible of generating USB VCCA. We have one, as you can see, we have here one. Here. Means this pin here is the pin number one, pin number two, three, and four. So this means five volt. It should be connected to what? To the plus of the chemical capacitor. The plus of the of the chemical capacitor is here, as you see. So let's check, as you can see. So the pin number one is connected to the plus of chemical capacitor exactly as we have seen in the circuit diagram. We have here two USB ports, as you can see. Okay, we have two USB ports. So, as you can see here, we have the same component as we see in the circuit diagram. For this USB, as we see, we have a chemical capacitor okay that filter do 5 volt we have the ic here we have a fuse a resistor a fuse resistor as you can see okay we have a chemical capacitor this is just or a ceramic capacitor this is for protection and we have here coil as you can see here we have l l to t means a coil the same thing for this USB connector, we have here an IC U14. We have chemical capacitor for this is a filtering capacitor. We have we have here a ca two capacitors and we have a fuse resistor and we have a, an inductor. Okay, so this is the USB connector circuit. Okay, if you have a problem in one of this USB. You should check all these components, but first you can check the fuse using the multimeter. We will check all these components using the multimeter. And of course, in the other side, as you can see, in the other side, we have, as you can see, four pins, as you can see. For, of course, this is for ground. These two are for ground. And here we have four pins. As you can see here, we have here one as you can see it means this is the pin number one it means here we have five volt we should get five volt and d minus d plus and here connected to the ground okay we will check all this using the multimeter the same for this also the same for this connection also we have five volt d minus d plus and ground we'll check all this using the multimeter but first let's check other motherboard in order to go deeper into understanding the usb component circuit so let's check other motherboards so here as you can see we have another motherboard over here this is the usb connector as you can see here here we have the four pins as you see this mark this triangle means this is pin number one and pin number two three and four pin number one is connected to five volt as you can see here we have this path the five volt is connected directly to the plus of the chemical capacitor as you see okay so here we have d minus d plus and we have the ground here we will check all this using the multimeter so as you can see here we have the chemical capacitor we have l7 so this is the inductors two inductors these two inductors is connected to these two center pins i mean data minus and data plus exactly as we saw in the schematic and here we have this is a diode and this is the chemical capacitor but let's let's look for the ic in the other side so as you can see we have here the usb connector this is the ic u13 okay this is the, the ic that is responsible for this usb connector okay this 
should be 5 volt and this should be ground so let's check whether this is ground or not so first we should put the multimeter to the buzzer option as you can see here and then press the power button okay so let's check the continuity the continuity is seated correctly so for this usb connector here this is for 5 volt why because here we have one means this should not be connected to the ground as you can see okay not connected to the ground but this should be connected to the ground as you can see okay the same also for this this should be connected to the ground but this should not be connected to the ground because this is the 5 volt pin and these two also should not be connected to the ground if these two pins that are for data is connected or are connected to the ground means the ICH is shorted okay so 5 volt should need to be connected to the ground this two pin also for data should not be connected to the ground if you find that one of these pins or both are connected to the ground means the ICH is shorted here we have the ICH this is the CPU okay here we have the GMCH or the North Bridge this is the graphic card and over here we have the ICH if you find that these two here or these two here are connected or shorted to the ground means automatically the ICH is shorted to the ground okay. so now let's see the other side of these connectors so as you can see here in the other side so we have this chemical capacitor we have the IC we have the fuse resistor we have this PF capacitor we have the inductor this component are for this USB connector so if you focus here as you can see you will see here we have one as you can see we have here one here means this pin here is the pin number one pin number two three and four so this means five volt so because this pin as you can see here is pin number one because we have here one it should be connected to what to the plus of the chemical capacitor the plus of the of the chemical capacitor is here as you see so let's check as you can see so the pin number one is connected to the plus of chemical capacitor exactly as we have seen in the circuit diagram okay and of course the plus of chemical capacitor should be connected to the output of this ice and the second tank to check is the fuse let's check whether the fuse is good or not so the fuse is good if you find a buzzer or if you hear a buzzer or you get a low resistance in the multimeter means the fuel is good so this fuel is good let's check also the chemical capacitor the chemical capacitor is good if you hear a buzzer testing the chemical capacitor means shorter to the ground so the chemical capacitor is good here we have the IC so let's check this PF capacitor the PF capacitor is good means the IC also is good okay so for the fuse the fuse should get a buzzer good so the fuse also is good so here as you can see this motherboard we have a chemical capacitor in this shape we have here plus here we have this mark this triangle means this is pin number one two three and four so let's check the pin number one with the plus of the chemical capacitor so let's check so here we have pin number one here let's put one probe here of the multimeter and put the other probe here in the plus of chemical capacitor as you can see okay do you hear a buzzer 
means this is connected to this of course if you focus here you will find here a bus as you see okay and this should be connected to what to the ground because this is the fourth pin so let's check as you can see and these two are data pins okay these two should be connected to this inductor as you can see here so as you can see here we have d minus d plus are connected directly to this inductors as you can see so let's check between these two terminals let's check these terminals first so here we have 5 volt here we have d minus let's check this with this for example as you can see so let's check also this with this as you can see okay so the first pin means the vcc pin is connected to plus of the chemical capacitor and the second pin means d minus is connected to this inductor okay or to this fuse resistor okay yeah this is a fuse resistor as you can see this is a fuse resistor okay do you hear a buzzer this is a fuse resistor and the third pin means d plus is connected to the other fuse resistor and the fourth pin is connected to the ground always the fourth pin is connected to the ground as you can see 